Hi, I'm Iris Lee, member of the SAA Technical Subcommittee on Encoded Archival Standards. Today, I'm going to provide a tour of the Encoded Archival Standards Best Practice Guide website, or EAS BPG for short. Before we start, a brief background on how and why this resource was developed. During the revision process of EAC CPF and EAD, the subcommittee subteams expressed a need for use cases on how to use new and existing elements and how to encode them in these descriptive standards. So to complement the tag libraries for EAD and EAC, the best practice guide provides a more in-depth explanation of elements, element sets, and attributes being used together to fulfill a variety of use cases. This past summer, we released the best practice guide website hosted on GitHub. It is meant to be a living resource that we hope to grow and refine. There are a number of ways to get to the uh, best practice guide website, but I'm going to take you to the EAC CPF tag library. And there's a link right under the tag library. This takes you to the homepage of the best practice guide. You'll see some introduction, introductory text and some ways to get a hold of us. On the left hand rail, you'll see some common areas of description. Under each heading, there are more topics to explore. So, for instance, we have dates. And currently, we have two subtopics uncertain dates and unknown or ongoing date ranges. For each section, we give you the schema that we're using the example for, some context around how or why you might want to use this data, and a description that goes more in depth on how to use the elements with attributes or sub elements and other prescribed standards to use when encoding your data. Finally, there are examples of encoded descriptions illustrating how the data would be made inside an XML record. The examples here are providing a snippet of how to form, in this case, EAC CPF XML for uncertain dates. And here you can see the use of elements with their sub elements and some attributes to express uncertain dates. And there are different examples to illustrate different types of uncertain dates you may want to represent. If you'd like to view or download full XML records, you can go down to examples, the last, uh, the last topic here on the rail. And um, currently, we only have examples for EAC CPF. And you can download a minimal record, an extended record, a corporate body record, or a person record. And we hope to include more examples from EAD and EACF in the future. Thanks for watching. Here are some different ways you can contact us or learn more.